Welcome to the Crystal Collector. Introducing Mr. Hugh Mongus. Mr. Hugh Mongus. This is the largest cluster that came out of this quality at least so far. <clears throat> All right, here we are. Been working on this cluster for a couple of hours on and off and I believe it should be ready to come out. I can get a grip on her here. All right, here we go, here we go. This might be the one. <laughs> All right. Big one. Here it goes. There it is. That's a big one. That's All right, a you real guys. big one. Whoo! All of the points are down here. They should be safe. I'm probably going to have to do a little more pulling. Oh, here we go. We have it. Whoo! After a little bit of work there. Okay, you guys. <laughs> Okay, all right, here we go. Catch my breath before I pass out. Because this could be... <laughs> oh, man. oh my gosh. Let's see what we got here. It is, it's a huge cluster. It's the biggest cluster so far. Oh my goodness. This is humongous. <laughs> Mr. Hugh Mongus. Points are in good shape, perfect. We didn't do any damage pulling it. Because if we did, it would have been Ryan's fault. Sure. Okay. <laughs> All right, look at that. So I can barely even hold this piece up. It must be 50, 60 pounds. Oh, jeez. Just awesome. So this cluster is just being fantastic. <laughs> Looks so nice after being cleaned up. Look at that. What? something really special going on inside this piece. It's a bubble. Yeah, that's right. Around 350 million years ago, the liquid in the air was trapped inside this crystal as it was forming. You can see as it's slightly tilted and backlit with a light, the bubble just goes back and forth, just like a level. What? These are often called an anhydro. This one just happens to have some air inside it, forming with the amethyst around 350 million years ago. As you can see in the video, he was immediately dubbed Mr. Humongous. You can see here how the crystals just wrap around the matrix. Look at that. 
they're kind of a smoky amethyst combination of the two, which we get a lot of in the southeast. You've got double terminated points along this bottom. Just amazing. And this piece also has some of the red inclusions of the hematite. Let's do a close up here. You can see them in there. Wherever you normally see the red hematite, you don't see the deeper as color because it pushed out the iron particles that help give the purple color along with the natural radiation. see it has some really cool formations. Thanks so much. Check out the Instagram page. Check out the videos. See you next time. To help and support this channel, please like and share, and we sure do love your comments. Thanks for watching.